Hi everyone, I'm Sandy and welcome back to my channel Sandy's Happy Plants. So I know I haven't um, made a video in a little while and that's because I had COVID. Yes, it definitely wasn't fun, but I am all better now and I am back. So today I wanted to make a fun little video on how you can grow your own avocado tree at home from a store-bought avocado. Let's get into it. So this is a super fun little project you can do um, in the winter time or even if you have kids it's super fun for the kids to see how how it grows and all that so um yeah it's just it's just a little fun thing to do so i'll show you how to do that so what you'll need to do this is obviously an avocado and i'm using a very ripe one uh hopefully it's still edible if you love avocados then uh, that's even better because you get to eat it after um yeah, so a ripe avocado, just like this, and you'll need a knife, and you'll need a little glass of water, and I'm just using regular tap water for this, and you also need some toothpicks. So the first thing you want to do is just take your avocado and cut it. So I'm going to cut it this way, so like the horizontal way around the avocado because I don't want to damage the, uh, the, the pit inside where the roots will be growing out of. So the roots grow out of the bottom, so I just don't want to damage it by cutting it, so I'm going to cut it this way. So let's go ahead and do that. So you just cut all around it. You don't have to be too gentle or anything. I think this one is actually overripe. It might not be edible anymore, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, well, it's still kind of okay, but here it is. So here you can see the pit inside. So then you want to take that out. So just kind of gently take it out. If it will come out. <laughs> and uh, it'll be slimy. Whoop, there it comes. There we go. It's full of avocado, as you can see. So then... Just to make it easier for yourself, um, you want to wipe down. Whoop! <laughs> Slippery <laughs> bloopers. Um, to make it easier for yourself, you want to wipe down the pit. So just take a, a towel or a microfiber cloth, or you can even just rinse it in a t in a sink. But I'm just gonna wipe it down with a towel for now because I don't want to get up and go to the sink. And this works pretty good so there you go there's the pit it's all clean and now what you want to do is determine where uh, up and down is so you just look at the pit and this one is it's a little bit harder to see but when you look at it it kind of has like a flat bottom and kind of more of a pointier top so I don't know if you can see that but it's kind of a little bit more pointy on top and the bottom is flat and if you look at the bottom it has this little navel this little uh nub there and that is where the roots are going to start coming out of so this is the bottom and this is where the stem is going to come out of once it grows so this is the top easy peasy so then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and peel this outer brown layer off of the pit you can leave it on, but it takes a lot longer with it on. So I find that when you peel it, it gets, it's much easier, it's much faster to germinate when you peel the pit. So yeah, so let's go ahead and peel it. I'll show you how to do it. So I just take the, the knife and I just kind of um, gently get it started. So you can kind of see here, you just gently get it started and then just like that, you can kind of peel this uh, outer brown layer away. And it's a little bit time consuming, it's a little bit tedious, but uh, it's worth it because it's just so much faster to germinate this way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So you can kind of see that here. I don't know if you can see that good, but uh, I'm just using the knife, the edge of the knife to get underneath and then just using my, my fingers to just kind of peel that off. OK, 
okay that looks pretty good don't worry if that's a little bit left on there that's okay just as long as most of it is peeled okay so now that you have your peeled avocado pit what you want to do is put toothpicks in the sides so that it stays in the water so what i mean by that so you have your little water glass like this and you want it to sit in the water without totally submerging it in the water um, it would probably work if you totally submerged it it would probably still grow but I don't know this is just a better method um, suspending it in the water glass so um, so you want this little the flat part on the bottom where the roots are going to grow out of you want that to stay in the water at all times to make it sprout to make it germinate so in order to do that you want to suspend it with toothpicks and I'll show you how to do that okay so all you do is just uh, stick two or three toothpicks in the side of the pit and you kind of want to angle it up a little bit so I'll just do one here and I'll show you so here's one see how that looks like this and then you just turn it over and do another one kind of uh, over here okay there's two and then you put another one on the other side so it's kind of like a little propeller so you just kind of try to get it on the same height of the pit, but it's it's okay if it's not exact. Okay, and then uh, that's what that looks like. Just like a little airplane propeller. Kind of cool, huh? And so then what you can do is you can take this and suspend it in the water like this. So here we go. This is what it looks like when it's in the water. So as you can see, the bottom of the pit is suspended by the toothpicks in the water. And that's where the roots are gonna grow out of. And you wanna make sure that uh, the bottom of the pit is always in water. So every couple days, fill a little bit more water in so that it always stays in the water. And then it takes about hmm, maybe two, three, two, three weeks before you see um, a root develop. And then another couple weeks for uh, a little shoot to come out the top and uh, it's pretty fun to watch it's pretty exciting to see the 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 pit will kind of open it will kind of split um, you can see there's like a seam on the side here I don't know if you can see that there's a little seam there and that seam right there that that splits and then the shoot the young shoot will come up the top there and that will eventually turn into the avocado tree and um, I cheated a little bit and actually prepared one already a month ago so that I can show you what it looks like. So this one, it's about a month old. Um, I'll show you the, the root system first so you can see how it's really developed really nice roots in there. And then you can see how it's split on the side here. And then how the shoot came out and it's pretty big already and here you can see it already has a bunch of leaves and it's really pretty and so what we're gonna do today I'm gonna actually give it a pot with soil so let's do it okay so to pot this little uh, avocado tree up I have already prepared um, a well draining potting mix and it looks like this and I actually made a video about it a while ago, um, how I do my, uh, how I prepare my own uh, well draining potting mix. This one I made a little bit different. I used a uh, mix of um, orchid bark and perlite and um, just a seed starting mix from miracle Grow. I know lots of people don't like to use miracle Grow because they think that it, uh, kind of attracts uh, fungus gnats but I honestly have never had a problem with it so it's I think it, it works fine and I also used um, this coconut um, husk as well in there so I just mixed it all together and this is what it looks like mixed all together just a nice well draining potting mix Okay, so I'm gonna put it in a, in a little uh, nursery pot, plastic little nursery pot like this, 
and then into an over part um, afterwards. Okay, so what you want to do is you just fill this little pot probably about uh, half, half or so with the mix, so like that. And then you take your little plant and you plant it in there. So first of all, let's take it out gently. Look at these roots. It actually got some really nice roots going here. Look at that. Hmm. So we of course want to take the um, toothpicks out. Okay, there's one and the other one. I'm using gloves just because I don't want to get my hands dirty, but um, you don't have to. I'm a girly girl. <laughs> what can I say? Okay, so <laughs> then you want to um, plant the little root in the mix, in the potting mix. And you want to do it so that a little bit of the um, avocado pit still sticks out above the soil. Just a little bit, not too much. So gently, kind of gently bury it in there. Just so the, so the root is all the way in. Okay, and I'll show you. I'll stand up and I'll show you. There you go. And then, once you kind of have it situated in the middle of the pot, you kind of fill it in with the rest of the potting mix. So, there you go. Just kind of gently press it in there. Don't worry about um, making it too tight. Just kind of loosely put the potting mix in. You can press it down a little just so that um, it stays in place. Okay. I think that looks about good. I think that looks pretty good just like that see how it's kind of sticking out the top a little bit okay there it is it's kind of hard to see there there it is and now all you want to do is give it a good water so I'm just gonna use the water that I had it in because it's already used to this water it was already in it right so I'm just gonna water it with that there you go And then I'm going to hold it over the sink after to drain out the excess. There you have it. And so to drain out the excess, you just take it out. And as you can see, it's kind of draining out the bottom and there's water in the under pot. And I just drain that out after and then put it back in. And then you want to put it into a nice sunny spot. Um, these can handle a lot of light. So direct sun is good. Um, I have it in an east facing window. Um, if you want, you can probably put it in a south facing window in the northern hemisphere. Um, but uh, maybe don't get like direct, direct, like hot, hot sun, summer sun on it um, right away because it's, it's still pretty young. So you want to get used to the sun slowly. So uh, yeah, so maybe put it in an east facing window first in direct light so it will get the morning sun and then uh, a little bit of the the day and then uh, you can transfer it to a south facing window once it gets a little bit bigger so with avocado plants or avocado trees one thing you got to do is um, you actually have to cut it at a certain point so that it branches out if you don't cut it it'll just continue to grow like this up and up and up and up and up and it'll just get taller and taller and taller and it just won't branch out this one is still too little for it uh, so i'm not going to do it yet but as soon as it gets a little bit more robust as soon as the stem gets a little bit um bigger i'm gonna prune it and um, i'll make another video and i'll show you so i'll give you an update on how it's going
Okay, so that's it for today and I hope you enjoyed this fun little project. Let me know how it goes with your own little avocado trees in the comment section below. And I will make a little update video on this in about a month or so. And at that time, I'll probably have to prune it. So it'll be good to have a little bit of uh, support from all of you because it will be a little bit scary. <sighs> I never like cutting plants, but sometimes it's necessary. <laughs> so anyways, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate all of you guys being here and I love learning about plants with you guys and I love sharing what I have learned about plants with you. So until then, stay happy, stay healthy and I'll see you next time. Bye!